Is it also haram to backbite kafirun? Wallahi, shuf. Look, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, uh, in Surah Al-Hujurat, وَلَا يَغْتَبْ بَعْضُكُمْ بَعْضًا So the ayah talks about the Muslim, the Muslim brother, Muslim sister. Okay, if you notice the ayat in Surah Al-Hujurat, it starts with, يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا So it talks about the Muslims, about the believers. So we can understand from the ayah, this is about the Muslims. So it is not allowed to back by the Muslim. So we can understand that, as some scholars mention, for the non-Muslims, this is okay. Or this is not included. But we need to protect our tongue. Okay, because imagine, especially for those who, are, who live in a non-Muslim country. Okay, so maybe your neighbor, your colleague at work, or in the school, uh, the maid, the, the friends, many of them, non-Muslims. So then if I tell you, okay, this is allow, allowed to backbite the non-Muslims. So now you are backbiting uh, your neighbor, your friend, and maybe your brother. Maybe your brother is non-Muslim, your sister non-Muslim, your parents non-Muslims. So what will happen? Khalas, your heart will used, will, will used to, used to backbite. Then this will make it easier for you to, to do it with the Muslims. So to be safe, please avoid backbiting Muslims, non-Muslims, young, adult, okay? Can you say difference between the word namima and al-ad? The Prophet ﷺ defined al-ad as namima. He said, atadruna ma al-ad? Al-namima, al-qala bayna al-nas. So he defined it, yani. But as, if you mean as linguistic meaning, sorry, I don't know, Allah. 